Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Wrestling. Our coverage of the sport continues on President's Day. We head to Ames, Iowa, where we are once again joined by Dream Team. You know Missouri Hall. He joins us now from Iowa State. How are you, Dream Team? I'm good, sir. How about you? I'm good. A lot of people may not know how you came, uh, how you came to be called Dream Team. Can you share that with our, our viewers? <laughs> um, so one day from class... Um, we had one of the girls from the front office come in, and she came in with three passes. And it was for me and two of my other friends. And uh, when he read off the names, he was like, man, he said, this is like the dream team of hall passes. Like, what's going on? Like, where y'all going? I was like, uh, to the office? And <laughs> <laughs> from that day on, we just rode with dream team. Dream team. That was, of course, back when you were at Hempstead. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Back and in Holmes. He- Homestead. Homestead, not Hempstead. Homestead. And that's uh, where really it all started for you. The the oldest of, of uh, nine kids. Uh, you and I joked whether or not uh, you had to fight for food on the table, but being the, the oldest one, i got to believe you were the first one to uh, sink the, the spoon into the dish. Is that true? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the kids, they like to play the game, so while they're playing the game, I'll go eat. February 15th. Um, you won your 100th career match. For many wrestlers in college, that's merely a hope and a dream. Some wondered if you were going to get it done. You had some illness to contend with uh, earlier in the season. Uh, mm-hmm. Matter of fact, it was pneumonia. Uh, mm-hmm. But how gratifying was your 100th career victory? Um, at first, it it was like a little tough because I only won two to one. I mean, of course, I wanted to go out with like I wanted to be a big win. But then once we got on the bus, um, it sunk in. Like, one thing KJ always tells me is, like, a win is a win. You know, regardless of how you get it, we win. We, we, we win and move forward. Like, we leave it in the past. And next time we, we wrestle that guy, we look to dominate. But um, when I got to the hotel, or well, on the bus, actually, like, once I got away from everything and I just sat there by myself, it was just like, it was like I did it. Like, uh, 100 wins. Like, I, I feel like that's one thing I kept on my mind the whole time, every time I wrestle a lot. In those uh, past couple of weeks with the uh, UNI, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma State, I just kept thinking 100 wins, 100 wins. I kind of feel like I was holding myself back. But this week, I just, uh, that week, I just focused on just wrestling, going out there to, to compete. And um, it just made it a lot easier for me. I just went out there, just looked to score points, wrestling in every situation. And um, I won two to one. Yeah, the odds were in my favor. So talk to us about, and by the way, congratulations. What, a, what an accomplishment. 100 career victories now sitting actually at 101. Uh, at 23 years old, are you ready to graduate? Oh, definitely, definitely. <laughs> I'm ready to be done with school. I'm just ready to uh, get get out into life, uh, either start teaching or just. Well, of course, I want to continue to wrestle, uh, chase this next Olympic cycle. But uh, where I'll be exactly, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I think I'm gonna wait till after the season, have a talk with Angel, and to see where, see where I'm, I'm headed. Angel Escobedo is the man you're referring to and, and a, a fine competitor uh, mm-hmm. and turning out to be a pretty decent coach, isn't he? No doubt. No doubt. I mean, Angel Angel's like a blessing in disguise. I really wasn't expecting him to come out here. I had Troy at first, and then Troy, I really felt like Troy did a good job helping me get, uh, get on the podium. It's like a lot of the little things that he did to get me ready for NCAAs at the tournament, and those little things I did actually got me to the tournament. But uh, So when he left, I was just like, well, like, what am I supposed to do now? Like, who's my coach? And sure enough, I had Angel. And we, Angel and I pretty, pretty much remember the same style. He's just a left leg lead. And, um, like, I really wasn't expecting that he, like, he came in as my partner and my training. Sorry, training partner and my coach. And it was just, a, like, a blessing. I was like, man, this is going to be crazy. Because I had him at the Olympic Training Center, but I never really got the chance to roll around with him or anything. But um, out here, he's just been like a big brother to me, and I love it. And he's been with me every step of the way. And uh, one thing I love about him, Throughout this whole process, he's just been all for me and uh, all like locked in, regardless of whatever's going on, whatever situation, like the situation that's going on right now out here. He's just been so positive and it just been helping me get through through it all. He's a rock and he's a dangerous man too. If you ever think that, oh, now I can beat Angel Escobedo, he could put it on you, can he? Oh, I'm not sure what it is, but when when guys retire and just become coaches, they just get so much better. And it, <laughs> it's like, like I can't even take him down anymore. He, like his pressure is unreal. It's just like, like I guess he that 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 um 
that never since he is just, just goes out the window. He's like, I'm a coach. I don't did it before. I don't done everything you want to do. So, <laughs> our guest is uh, Earl Hall. We call him Dream Team for a reason. He's a uh, absolute dream to have on a team. Kevin Jackson has said of you this year, "We haven't seen the best of you. We haven't seen you give a hundred percent." He's fully expecting you to do the impossible for many, and that is to win an NCAA championship uh, this year. You took seventh last year, All-America status for sure, but a Big 12 runner-up, uh, seventh place at the Midlands Championship. How much better are you today than you were this time last year? Uh, today, I'm way more locked in. I'm way more, um, like I've been working on like, my, my mental a lot lately. I feel like a lot of guys always say that, and on this level, it's more uh, mental than it is physical. It's like, I guess people say 80 20, uh, 80% uh, mental, 20% physical. And that's the one thing I've been working on with Coach Squad lately. He's been uh, talking to me and just doing the right things and uh, just having me focusing on on me rather than everything else that's going on. Um, of course, I sit down with Angel, Kyle, and me. So we just sit down and talk about like what things that. Um, what do we think about when we wrestle and like what makes us nervous? And honestly, I feel like that's been helping a lot lately to so just lay it all out on the table. And rather than, cause I mean, with, we're seniors, so we this is our last chance. And like my mom, one thing she's been preaching to me was that uh, like last year was my senior year. And like this year is like, this is it for real. And um, I can't hold back anymore. I can't say, oh, I'll get it back. I'll get it next year. I'll get it next year. Like this is the last time. And like, this is like the last team I'll ever be on. So. Of course, you can make junior, like world teams and uh, university teams and things like that, but nothing compares to like being a Cyclone or any other college. It was last season, the 2015-2016 season to be exact, uh, when you became Iowa State's 84th multi-time All-American in program history. Now, just to try to drop the picture here, how rare this is, given the number of athletes that have come through this program, that have competed and won titles and championships and All-America status. You're the 84th in the entire history of this program. You're in rare air right there. Right. I didn't say it that way to rhyme it, but I did want to point it out <laughs> that that is really rare. And uh, it's quite an honor. I got to believe uh, you feel the same. No doubt. No doubt. I mean, there's just like when you walk into the wrestling room, there's just so much tradition. Like you just see it, you feel it in the room. And, um, like just seeing uh, Mike Moreno, seeing his dad, seeing uh, Kyvin, like just having those guys in the room with me, uh, Trent, Travis, KJ, just having those guys in the room is just like, like remember what we compete for, like remember those who came before us. And uh, just recently we had Inky Johnson coming to town, and uh, uh, one of the we had Kyvin asked like what did it mean for him to like wrestle in the well when he played football for Tennessee, like what did it mean to wear the school colors. And the, the the main thing he iterated was that um, like when you wear those school colors, when you go out there, you wear it with pride. Like uh, and like so the like the people before us laid the foundation, right? And then for us, for us, it's our job to leave it better than how we found it. And and since I've been here, that's all I've been trying to do: just working for it, uh, not making any excuses. I mean, if I'm sick, I gotta go through it. I know what's one thing about being a wrestler: you gotta be tough. And like I. I like to complain. I don't like to tell people, oh, I'm sick. I feel this. I feel that. I'd rather just fight through it rather than, like, um, rather than to, to, to moan and complain about it. So I feel like uh, being the 84th, being the 37th to uh, get 100 wins, it's a, it's a great feeling. You know, like, I'm not, I can't say I'm all the way with KO, but uh, it's just it's great to be compared to, the, to the, some of the greatest wrestlers in the history of, of the sport. I cannot wait to listen. I'm not rushing the season. To, don't get me wrong, but I know the difference in folk style and freestyle. Okay, and I know how well you wrestle in freestyle. Yeah. And if, in fact, we can replicate what we saw in 2012 when you're wrestling at 60 kilos and won the uh, became the world team trials champ, if in fact we can see you um, regain that kind of uh, Oh, momentum, I suppose, is the word. Uh, but I, I would imagine you're as excited about that opportunity as anybody. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, I know one thing, one person I look at right now is uh, James Green. Um, I feel like him, him and I kind of share the same style. And uh, I'm, not, I'm not, 
like James didn't win an NCAA title or anything, but I know there's one thing he does. He makes it, he makes it a, a thing to to compete as hard as he can on the freestyle circuit because he knows that with one explosive takedown that he can end the match at any time. His uh, and then of course like Jordan Burroughs as well too. But um, I like I I look up to James Green. I feel like he's someone like he's around my age. But I know the one thing he always did. He like regardless if he's in the backside or front side of the tournament, he competed with all with everything he had and like he. He just wrestled through every situation, and I feel like that's one. Like I've been watching him a lot lately. I've been watching uh, Nishan Garrett. I just watch the younger guys, and I just try to compete the way they did. And um, I really feel like it, it's been helping me in practice and it helping me in the matches. So I mean, regardless of the score, I'm just looking. If I if I come out on top, I'm I'm more than pleased. Is there a match that you would like to get back? One that you didn't win on the college level um, that you want back, and and maybe haven't had a chance to to uh, wrestle that guy again, perhaps you would like to, if in fact you had that opportunity. Is there a guy that you would like to, uh, to wrestle? Um, I would, uh, wrestle, I would wrestle next time again. I feel like I didn't compete. It was a really boring match. I feel like it was just, it was one-sided. Um, because I, I, we wrestled each other when we were younger, and of course, I feel like we, we both gave it our all that one time, and it was a lot of fun. But for me, it just, and I feel like it's like kind of a highly anticipated match with two guys with a similar style. When I, I went out there for that, I didn't wrestle like, like Earl Hall. I wrestled the same, the same way I wrestled against Four O'Clock, and uh, the, every other time I wrestled in the uh, quarterfinals, I got to wrestle a complete, complete match. And uh, But I learned a girl from it. I, um, like a, I respect it as a great opponent. Um, like one of the quickest guys, probably one of the strongest I wrestled uh, throughout the season. And um, I congratulate on this national title too. Like we, uh, before we got in the podium, we both were back there dancing, having a good time. And I was just like, I, I was proud of him and uh, what he accomplished. Your teammates have said you're quite a dancer. How do you answer that charge? Um, no comment. <laughs> uh, we act, uh, I'm usually like the life of the party sometimes, but I try to like sit back and let these young guys have it. But um, I just like to have a good time. Just love to put smiles on people's faces and um, just be like a I'm kind of like a family man out here. So like the big brother, and I just try to implement a good time on everybody. I don't like try to force it anything like that. But I just love to see people have happy. A lot of people have a good time. I just love people. To, I like to share much with people. So if I'm put a smile, I'm, I'm more than happy. Our Skype interview of the day in the Nike hot seat has uh, been Dream Team. Earl Hall is uh, going to be graduating soon. Iowa State will be a, a, uh, a look back, a fond memory, I'm sure, for this young man. And there are those on campus. There are your friends and coaches and, and guidance counselors and people at uh, Iowa State, I'm sure, that have made a difference for you. Who are the people you'd like to r recognize? Um, I definitely have to recognize our um, academic advisor, uh, Nate Thomas. He has done a great job with me. Uh, since he's been here, he has took me above and beyond. I know last semester he was stressing. He thought I wasn't going to pass any of my classes. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up passing like a 2-6. Like a and uh, he was like, I'm sorry, like I stressed you out. But like the one thing I always told him, I was like, since you've been here, I've always had your back. I told you, like, my thing is to leave him on and off the mat. And uh, that's what I've done with, that's all I've done. Um, of course, okay, uh, bringing me in, I got to thank him for everything that's done for me. Um, pretty much took me off the streets. Like I, I didn't have anywhere to go. I, was, I was, could have been at the Olympic Training Center without an education center out there wrestling. But uh, KJ came in and swooped me up. Swooped me up and uh, I got to thank him. I thank his family, thank Robin, his kids. Um, they're like a family. I mean, I just love them and appreciate them. Trent and Travis, of course. You know, I love you guys. And thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for always being positive with me, giving me a place to stay. Um, Deron Wynn was like a big brother, is like a big brother to me. Um, whether he's in California, Colorado, wherever, he's always reaching out to me, making sure I'm, I'm blocked in and focused. Kevin Gass and Mike Moreno, um, even to this day, I still call them captain. They're, um, great, a great motivation. I mean, I just love having them around. Um, they keep me focused. And uh, the one thing that Mike told me last night was that. With all all that's going on, I gotta focus on me. Like I, I gotta hold those around me accountable. Not don't worry about the outside things. Don't worry about Kevin Dresser. Don't worry about uh, the coaches. Like I know the vibe is off in the wrestling room, but just worry about you. Focus on you. Do what you have to do. 
And um, I feel like I'm missing some people, but. How about we do one broad one to Cyclone Faithful? They've always been in your corner, haven't they? No doubt. Um, Cyclone Nation has been supporting me since I've been here. Like even even when I was down and out, they still supported me. They still they never gave up me. And um, the one thing that even at, even after the loss, guys will come up to me and be like, "Oh, it's exciting to see you wrestle. We just want to see you compete." And I love that. And it, it inspires me to go in the room, train hard, and of course to continue to open up. You know and um. Yeah, I'm just thankful for Cyclone Nation. I'm thankful for everything. Thank God for everything he's blessed me with. And I thank God. I, I gotta have, of course, I have to thank my family for continuing to support me, even in the rough times. And um, just always been my backbone. Definitely my mom and my dad and my brothers. But for sure, um, thank you, Cyclone Nation. You know, that's thank you. One of, I really appreciate you. Say it again. I said, I said, thank you. I, like, I really appreciate you talking to me, um, keeping my head up. Um, just... Being a, like being a positive influence, being a someone like a like one person that can always relax to be positive in my life. That's very kind of you. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I'm looking forward to continuing it. You don't take anything for granted. I've known that about you. You're very grateful for those that help you and those that uh, are your friends, and and uh, that's pretty special to see somebody as uh, uh, as, as generous with their time as you have been with me, and I appreciate that. Earl, we're looking forward to seeing the balance. We have the Big 12s coming up. We have the NCAAs coming up. And the future does look in bright indeed for Team USA if, in fact, we can get you to stick around and and uh, power through freestyle. I think it would be an awful lot of fun to watch. Yes, sir. You can count on that. Count on that indeed. Earl Hall has been our guest in the Nike hot seat today. Dream Team, have a great rest of your uh, President's Day. We appreciate you taking the time to go one-on-one -on -one to explore a little bit more to talk a little bit about what you've got going on with 101 wins 23 years old man the future does look bright indeed for earl hall thanks for it thanks earl thank you sir